That's not a flashback to your party days in college, the parties that you don't know why you were at. That is 36 year old Finnish Prime Minister Sana Marin, who has once been called the coolest Prime Minister in the world by a German publication. She was there caught on camera partying with friends in someone's house, partying, drinking. Can you believe it? But you know what I can't believe? Let's play this part again, you guys. The beat was about to drop. And she missed it. She came in too early. Watch that again. That's my problem. Watch. You screwed up the whole vibe. Anyways, since that video has been released, the hangover is now hitting really hard. Some of our colleagues are asking for drug testing to go down. Oh my God, dude. Let's find out why. The chatting on the videos left her facing questions about the possible presence of illegal drugs. With one voice in the background saying, this gives you a great feeling. But there was no direct evidence that drugs were being used except for that one sentence. Still, that was enough for the opposition leader, Rika Pura, chair of the Finns party, perhaps mindful of elections next April. Do you think that might have something to do with it? To suggest that Ms. Marin should volunteer to take a drug test. The dust up raised the question of whether Ms. Marin, who leads the Socialist Democratic Party and became one of the world's youngest prime ministers in December of 19, was being held to a different standard. Now she did respond to all of the controversy and decided to let everyone know what was going on. Maybe it's a big deal. She says these videos are private. They were recorded in private premises. I'm displeased that they have been published. What they are about, uh, what they are about is that I was spending an evening with friends, partying, admittedly boisterously, dancing and singing. Oh my God. Because this isn't the first time that she's had some kind of dust up because she is a party animal. More, because this is from December of 2021. Prime Minister Sana Marin of Finland apologized on Wednesday. Again, it's in 2021 after photographs surfaced of her dancing maskless in a nightclub on Saturday night. One day after she came into contact with a government official who had been tested positive for coronavirus. She said this, I did wrong. She said this in a television interview. I should have considered the situation more carefully, but here's her explanation as to why she didn't consider it more carefully. Again, from 2021, Marin said that a staffer initially informed her that there was no need to quarantine because everyone exposed was vaccinated. She did not question that instruction because it was similar to the health agency's guidelines. A subsequent text message to her government phone asked everyone who came into contact with the positive case, Foreign Affairs Minister Pekka Havisto, to avoid contact with others. She didn't receive that message until Sunday morning because she had left her work phone at home during her night out partying, <laughs> which included a long stint at Butchers. It's a popular club in the country's capital. Here's a picture of her hanging out at Butchers, having too much fun in the middle of all this <laughs> COVID. Uh, she did apologize for this as well. Uh, she was, of course, speaking in her own language, but we have some uh, we have some subtitles there. She was apologizing. Let's watch. Niin minun olisi pitänyt ymmärtää se vielä myöhemmin toisen kertaan varmentaa, että pitääkö tämä ohjeistus paikkaansa. Minun olisi itse pitänyt käyttää siinä parempaa harkintaa ja varmuuden vuoksi olla menemättä ja olla, olla olematta ihmisten ilmoilla ja varmistaa tämä vielä toisen kertaan. Siis ei sanota huoreita, pyydättekö anteeksi? Pyydän anteeksi ilman muuta sitä omaa käytöstäni ja toimintaa, niin en ole toiminut tässä parhaalla mahdollisella tavalla ja, ja sitä pyydän anteeksi. The answer to that last question should have been hell no. <laughs> you want a beer? <laughs> what are you, guilty or not guilty, Rick? But it, what do they drink in Finland? Um, Is it beer? Probably, there's probably some good beers in Finland. I, that's what I would assume. Actually, now I want to know. I'm a, I would I'm, think. I'm a bit of a, a beer snob. Um, guilty or not guilty of what? Is she violating her her uh, position as the prime minister of a of a country, an entire country? Is she on drugs? Should she be partying like this? Because some of the other oppositions to her were saying, "Listen, we've got you've heard this maybe here before. Uh -huh. We've got problems at the dinner table. We've got problems at the pump. We've got problems with the economy. We've got problems with education. Whatever yeah. it is that they have problems with, she should be focusing on that on Saturday night at eleven o'clock." <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. Um, you know, they say that you should work tirelessly. Mm -hmm. At least that's what the older generation has said. Uh, the younger generation is kind of saying F that. Uh, guilty or not guilty of having fun? Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, me, let me just put some things in perspective here. All right. Mm -hmm. Here, stateside, Republicans have been caught in bathrooms <laughs> doing bad things. Okay, they have been grooming children as we've gone over in this show. 
let, let me let me just put put the nail in the coffin to this entire story. I'll do it with mm-hmm. two words. Are you ready? I'm ready. Cocaine orgy. Madison Cawthorn. <laughs> bro, bro. This two, is two words. This, this is hardly. I understand like it's a trending story and like we, we should point out the hypocrisies. Um, but this is one of the most non stories, but I, I did notice the shirt I'm wearing today. So oh, uh, I I stand with Prime Minister Marin and uh, let me tell you something, man. Uh, she's having fun as a 35 Six. year old, 36, 36 year old, yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but I would take that video over what Republicans are doing behind closed doors. 100%. I mean, let's not talk about behind closed doors. It's disgusting.